Hey everyone, welcome to Zoho Invoice, a completely free and powerful invoicing application that helps you create professional invoices and collect payments from your customers seamlessly. In this video, you will learn how to sign up for Zoho Invoice, set up your organization and start creating transactions right away. To sign up for Zoho Invoice, go to www.zoho.com slash invoice and click the sign up now button. Here, enter your name, email address, create a password and enter your company name. Select your business location, agree to the terms of service and privacy policy and click get your free account. In the following page, enter your company address the currency of your business, language and time zone. Select how you manage your invoicing currently from the drop down and click get started. That's it, your organization is all set up. You will receive a confirmation email in your registered email address from where you can confirm your account. Now you will be logged into the getting started page where you can follow these initial steps to set up your organization and start invoicing. In the left pane, you can find all the core functionalities of Zoho Invoice. Also, you can choose to enable any additional functionalities from here. To your right, you can go to Settings to set up your organization profile. Here, you can upload your company logo, choose the industry you're in, configure email preferences for your primary contact, edit the organization address, base currency, fiscal year, time zone and date format. You can also choose to add any additional fields for your organization here. Click Save. Let's look at some basic steps to help you kickstart your invoicing. First, let's add your customers. Go to the customers module on the left sidebar. You either click the plus symbol next to it or the plus new at the top right corner. Choose the customer type, enter the primary contact details, company name and customer display name. The currency will be set according to the base currency of the organization. Enter the email address, phone number and other details. Select the tax preference and payment terms. Mark this box to enable the customer portal for the customer and select the portal language. Add documents if any. Next, you can add their billing and shipping addresses. their contact persons and other fields. Now click save. Your customer has been successfully added. If you are migrating from some other software to Zoho Invoice, you can import your customers instead of creating a customer manually each time. You can also configure preferences according to your business requirements by clicking preferences under each module. Next, let's add your items, which are the goods or services in your organization. In the left sidebar, click the plus icon next to the items. Select the item type as goods or service. Enter the item name, its unit and the selling price of this item. Enter the item description if you wish and select if any tax is applicable on it. Then click save. Your item is now added. Now, let's create the first transaction for your customer. A quote, which details the products and services that you're going to sell to them. To do this, click the plus icon next to quotes. Select the customer. The quote number will be auto-generated. You can also choose to enter it manually by clicking here. Enter the reference number, select the code date, select the expiry date to prompt the closing of deals. 
You can associate a salesperson or project to this customer if you wish. Enter the subject for your quote. Enter the item details, the customer notes and the terms and conditions of your business here. Then save and send the quote to your customer. Your quote is now created and sent. Once your customer accepts your quote from the customer portal or any links, it can be converted into an invoice. You can also choose to manually convert it. Next, let's see how to create your first invoice. You can create an invoice by clicking the plus icon next to invoices. Select your customer name. The invoice number will be auto-generated. You can also enter it manually by clicking here. Enter other details such as the order number, invoice date, terms of payment, due date by which the payment is expected or required to be received and other fields. Enter the item details, the customer notes and the terms and conditions of your organization. You can also choose to configure various payment gateways to receive online payments seamlessly from your customers. Now, you can save and send the invoice to your customer. Once your customer received the invoice, they can click the Pay Now button and make the payment. If you have received the payment offline, you can mark the invoice as paid manually. Sometimes, apart from the invoice amount, you might want to collect payment for any other reasons from your customers. In such cases, using payment links, you can easily generate links and share them with your customers to receive payment instantly. The Payments Received module helps you keep track of all the online and offline payments you receive from your customers. If you have received a bulk payment from your customer, it can be applied to all the outstanding invoices at once from the Payments Received module. The payment can also be stored as credits and utilized for future invoices. If you want to send scheduled invoices on a regular basis to your customers, you can create a recurring invoice. Go to the Recurring Invoices module and click plus new at the top right corner. Select the customer, enter the profile name and the order number. Choose the time interval for which the recurring invoice is to be generated. Enter the rest of the details and click save. A recurring invoice has been created. You can also configure the process of sending these invoices to your customers by clicking Preferences. You can choose to collect your customers' card details and charge them automatically using AutoCharge. Credit notes help you keep track of the money that you owe to your customers in the form of credits. You can apply credits against the future transactions of the customer or issue a refund. Let's see how to create and apply credit notes in Zoho Invoice. Click the plus icon next to the credit notes module in the left sidebar. Select the customer for whom you are creating the credit notes and fill in the necessary details. Now, click Save as Open. Now, there are two ways to close a credit note. One, by applying it to an invoice and the other, by refunding it. Let's see how to apply credits to an invoice. In the Credit Notes module, select the credit note that you wish to apply to an invoice. Click the Apply to Invoice button on the top. A list of invoices that you have created for the customer will be displayed. Here, specify the amount to be applied for the respective invoices 
and click the save button. Once done, the invoice amount and the available credits will be reduced accordingly. If all the credits are used up, the status of the note will be changed to closed. If you've refunded the amount you owe to the customer by cash, you can refund the credit note in Zoho invoice. To do this, select the credit note to refund and ensure it is in open status. Click more in the top right corner and select refund. Fill in the necessary details and click Save. After this, the credit note will be closed. Next, let's see how expenses are managed in Zoho Invoice. The Expenses module lets you record, view, track and modify all your business expenses in one place. To create an expense, click the plus icon next to Expenses. You can either record a regular expense, a mileage expense or add expenses in bulk. Enter the date on which the expense occurs. Choose the category the expense falls under. Click the itemize option if you have the split up of the expense. Enter the expense amount in the amount field. Choose the customer name if you are recording an expense incurred to a particular customer. If you want the expense to be reimbursed by your customer, mark the box Billable. Now, click Save. You have recorded an expense. With the time tracking module in Zoho Invoice, you can charge your customers based on the time you spend on finishing projects for them. Let's see how to create a project. Go to the time tracking module in the left sidebar and click Plus New Project. You can enter the project details here such as the project name. Select the customer from the drop down. In the billing method, there are four ways you can charge your customers. You can bill your customers based on a fixed rate for the entire project, bill them based on the hourly rate of projects, project tasks or staffs. For the purpose of this video, we will choose this option and enter the rate to track the amount based on hours spent on this project. Then you can add the tasks which are the different steps or processes involved in the project. Click Save. Now, to log time for this project, click the Log Time button here. You can enter the project details and the time spent on the project. Additionally, you can log time with the help of a timer by clicking here. Now, the time logged can be billed to the customers. Finally, you can bill your customer for this project. To do so, select the project for which you would like to bill the customers. Click New Transaction and select Create Invoice. Once the invoice is created, you will find that the status of the time entries have been changed to Invoice. Another key feature of Zoho Invoice is the Customer Portal. The Customer Portal allows your customers to keep track of all the transactions that have taken place between them and your business. With the Customer Portal, you will be able to send codes to your customers for approval, enable them to pay for all their invoices from a single place, Allow your customers to review your business, view your customers' updated payment information and much more. The customer portal will be enabled by default in Zoho Invoice. To give your customers access to the customer portal, go to the customers module and select the customer for whom you want to provide access. Click more and select configure customer portal. Once your customer logs into the portal, they can view their outstanding invoices and choose to pay for them. And they can also view their available credits. Here, they can view their account details and also edit them. On the left pane, they can navigate between their codes, invoices and other transactions. Next, let's set up your organization to make it suited for your business. Click the gear icon at the top right corner and you can find different settings here. Let's go to the next section under settings which is branding where you can upload the logo that you wish to display 
on documents like codes and invoices. You can also choose the appearance and brand color of your organization. Under Usage Stats, you will be able to view your plan details, usage stats, along with your annual limits for invoices and projects. Under Users, you can find the different users in your organization and also add new users by clicking here. Under Roles, you can find predefined roles with different permissions that you can assign to your users. Next, let's go to an important section under your settings, which are your taxes. You can add all the tax rates and exemptions in your organization. Under Customer Portal, you can configure various settings and customer fields for your customers. Next, let's go to General Preferences. You can find general settings related to your organization here. Similarly, you can configure settings for your items, sales transactions, purchase transactions and your projects. Next, we have the expenses where you configure your expense preferences. Add your vehicle details and record expenses for them. View all the existing expense categories in Zoho Invoice and also choose to add new ones. Under Online Payments, you can integrate with any payment gateways mentioned here and collect payments seamlessly from your customers. Once you set up an integration with any one of these payment gateways, your customer can pay for their invoices through the payment gateway. Please note that the payment gateways will be subject to your business location. Here, you can configure manual and automated reminders for your customers to make payments for their invoices and bills. PDF templates are used to customize the look and feel of your transactions. Here, you can choose to edit an existing template or add a new one by clicking here. You can configure templates for any of these transactions mentioned here. Under Email Notifications, you can choose various email configurations for your invoices and other transactions. Under Integrations, you can integrate with any of our other Zoho or other applications to streamline your business flow. Next, you can also choose to back up all the data in your organization here. Under Marketplace, you can install various extensions and make the best use of it. Wish to invoice Zoho Invoices on the go? You can also download the Zoho Invoice mobile app on both Android and iOS. So, do ensure to check them out. With this, we hope you've got a good understanding of Zoho Invoice and how it can help you make invoicing simple and seamless for your business. Zoho Invoice is completely free. You can access our application and start using it right away from the link given in the description below. Well, that's it for now folks. Have a great day. Thank you.